Hey, you're about to visit Robben Island. You were active in politics in the 70s and 80s. What did you do to help release Man Nelson Mandela? Well, I think what is important is what the United Kingdom did. And no, no, what other... did you do? What did you do? Did, did you go on protests? Did you get arrested outside the embassy? Did you boycott South African goods? Did you do anything? I think you know full well that I didn't go on protests, Michael. But what is important is the work that the United Kingdom... Well, did you Kingdom, boycott South African the work, goods? ..the work that the United Kingdom government did to ensure that it was able to give support where that support but hang was on a moment. At that stage, Mrs Thatcher, the... Mrs Thatcher believed that Nelson Mandela was a terrorist. Were you a loyal Conservative Party member? Did you think the same thing? What was important was the support that the UK government was giving at the time, often support behind the scenes, um, but in, in other ways too. But, but to not Theresa May. We saw, to ensure that we saw the result that we did in relation to the ending of apartheid here in South Africa. A government led important? by a woman who thought that Nelson Mandela was a terrorist. Now you're going to be going to Robin Island. Aren't you going to be feeling guilty that at the time Nelson Mandela was on Robin Island, you, Theresa May, did nothing to help his release, you personally. What I, what I will be feeling, I think, when I go to Robin Island, uh, is to recognise the immense statementship, statesmanship of a man who spent so many years incarcerated, and when he came out of that incarceration, had that breadth of vision and that calm approach that has enabled South Africa to be built into the country that it is today. A country with which we, the United Kingdom, have long historical links, but for obvious reasons, but also for which we, with which we can forge a new partnership for the future.